Okay, my friends, this is going to be fabulous. This is MIT News, and this is just recently. A new heat engine with no moving parts is as efficient as a steam turbine, which is quite efficient. Now, what they do is they use heat to create electricity, and they use the electricity as the engine. So this is basically it, the laser. Then we turn it into basically heat, and I'm going to show you heat. Because I think this is exactly what it is. And here we have the thin film device that they created, that new chip. And from there we run it down and create our electricity. Alright, he's going to be talking about efficiencies of collection. And I've been talking about these thin film collector panels, which are very, very thin, very cheap and they're just like spraying on different types of metals and when you hit it they will all absorb different frequencies different frequencies are different particles and so you get a, a, a lot of absorption announced by MIT but also National Renewable Energy Laboratory and it had around a 40 to 41 percent efficiency and um, this is because the absorber used multiple semiconductor layers and this... Exactly, that's what I've been talking about, to these multi-semiconductor layers. Semiconductors means they, they conduct but only partially. And what happens is when they conduct, they allow a certain type of electron to come through there. Everything else is blocked. That's what a semiconductor is. So if you have all different ones, they say, I'll take those guys down at this layer, you take the guys that come to this layer, I'll take the guys that come down here, you, uh, and, and they have all these different layers. And that's why, they're not just because they're on top of one another, it's because their actual molecules and atoms will absorb these different frequencies. This was tuned to absorb all sorts, such as ultraviolet, visible and infrared photons, but not only that, it used the gold reflector that recycles the unabsorbed photons. So this device actually operates at around 2,400 degrees Celsius. Alright, what, what do you want to drive this thing? You want something like that. You want heat. You want a hell of a lot of heat, but you don't want to, you don't want to cause a co collision. Guess what? We can do that. All right, this is just too cool. If I can show you this kind of energetic reaction without any explosive, just energy, raw energy, that's what we need to power that cell. All right, check this out. This is a video I did a while back, and I'm going to just show you how we can actually harvest just the white portion. Watch this. This is an atomic bomb blast. The light, the house will just light up like a candle boom and now everything just burns you see this I have I stopped action but it will start uh, and then I'm showing this is really what's happening the white particles have hit this and the whole thing's burning up but it's not moving there's no concussion whatsoever it's just burning that's a hundred percent white particles are just the only thing that's hitting it now and then shortly after, the black particles will come. That's where I'm showing the white particles have burnt the house. The black ones will come next, and then the house will explode. That's me talking. <laughs> now watch. Here will come the house exploding. And then everything will come back towards the explosive because where it started, because this, uh, the dark matter is still there, and the white wants to come back to it. So it all pushes away, and then it will come back. All right, there it goes. Watch, it turns around, comes back. Okay, I'm sure you've seen the white and the black particle together. Um, I know I must have shown you that by now. And here they are separated, right here. So that's fission. This is fusion. This is the white part, white stuff, which is just burn. That's all there is is burn here. These are the bangers, the black ones. But we're down in photon range. We're not up in the range of, you know, that big heavy jobber is going to come and smash. But we should be able to harvest this as heat through that little solar collector, that new device, that temperature solar collector.